Hey guys, Rio here, and welcome back to another hashtag daily tut daily tutorial here on Tigod Desi Designs, as always. Um, today I'm going to be just doing a really quick one. Um, don't have a lot of time today, so I thought I'd uh, give you this little gem. Um, still think it's really useful, though. So this is just, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, I guess quick, quick rigging in After Effects. Um, so I'm just going to set up a theoretical scenario here in our main comp. I'm going to change it to 1920 by 1080. I was doing some crazy work with square compositions. Why would you ever do that, Rio? That's crazy. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to create a little scenario here. Let's say um, you're, making, you're making something and you have a name, like a name right here. And let me bring that size down and uh, I'm going to turn on... Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna show transparency for for now, and I've um, I'm of course gonna center, center my anchor point and center my text. Um, so let's say we have some text, and I'm gonna throw in like a little background. Uh, this kind of uh, burgundy. Is that that that's burgundy, right? I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna change it real quick. Um, but basically, I'm just gonna set up a little test comp composition here. Uh, so I can show you uh, a little bit of quick rigging and let me I need at least one more element so I'm just going to draw a rectangle like right here for no apparent reason just because I can and you guys are getting a quick look at some of the colors I'm using for my next intro um, which is kind of cool I guess I don't know burgundy um, anyways I have a square and a name right there and let's say you wanted to give these guys both the same shadow, um, but you also wanted to make sure, like, let's say you had, like, a lot of squares. Like, I'm going to duplicate all these guys. Like, you had a lot of squares. Maybe you had, like, two names for some reason, um, and you just, you have all these, and you want to apply a drop shadow to all of these and have it be the same drop shadow, but you don't want to have to pre-comp them and then apply the shadow to the pre-comp. You want each one to have its own shadow. Uh, theoretical, but uh, you'll see where I'm going with this in a second. So I'm going to create a new null object here uh, by right-clicking, going to new, and then null object. I just did the shortcut, which is uh, Control Alt Shift Y, um, and I'm going to name this um, Effect Control underscore Shadow, something like that. The name doesn't really matter. That's just my preferred naming scheme, I guess. And I'm going to apply a drop shadow to this guy. Um, I already have a preset with a 2D drop shadow that I think looks pretty nice, so I'm going to just drop that one on. And um, now this isn't uh, this isn't an adjustment layer, so it's not like it's going to do anything right off the bat. And uh, just a quick demo, demo uh, if we did have an adjustment layer and applied the drop shadow to it, it's not going to do anything because it's doing the drop shadow along the alpha, and since we have a background, it's not doing anything. When we get rid of the background, we can see that the shadow is being applied. But uh, with the background there, um, the shadow, um, if we could see it, would be like right underneath this background solid um, because it does shadow based on the transparency. So we can't just simply put an adjustment layer, and that's why I'm getting to this rigging um, example right here. So we have a null with our 2D drop shadow. And I'm going to click out of everything because sometimes it does just one property. So I'm going to click out of everything, make sure none of my effects, none of my effects right here are selected. So I'm going to click out right there, and I'm going to make sure none of my layers are selected. All right, now everything's deselected. I'm going to click on the main name of the effect I want to apply to all of, all of the, I guess, receiving layers that I want to give the drop shadow. And I'm going to click on edit and copy with relative property links. Now all I have to do is click on all the stuff that I want to receive the drop shadow and paste it. There you go. And as you can see, everything has the drop shadow. And when I go back to my effect controller uh, for the shadow, you'll see that when I change stuff, it updates all of the effects on all these layers because they're all dynamically linked. And as, I, as you can see, they have red values right here, meaning that uh, After Effects has written little tiny expressions for us. Um, so if I double click E to reveal all the expressions on one of the layers we pasted it on, you'll see that uh, After Effects did all this for us. It just pasted in a whole bunch of expressions that basically just said, um, 
for the opacity of this one just take the opacity of the controller layer and there you go um, it's really simple and that's all that needs to be done and now you can tweak to your heart's desire and say you send it to your client and they say oh I think the drop shadow needs to be uh, more prominent all I have to do is <laughs> jack it up that looks horrible um, and everything follows suit so that way you don't have to go through uh, 10 or so layers adjusting it by hand so just a small thing that saves a little bit of time um, I use it quite frequently uh, for a lot of different things and you'll find that it'll be useful for random stuff that you never would have even thought of so that's just a quick quick tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tip um, I'm not sure if you guys like the longer ones or if you like the shorter ones let me know uh, what you prefer I, I think it's a good balance uh, I don't want to make every day like a 20 30 minute tutorial that's a little bit draining but um, there's a lot of uh, little gems like this that I think are really helpful but that's pretty much that thank you guys for watching I will see you tomorrow for another hashtag daily tut leave your tutorial suggestions down in the comment sections below you guys have been doing a great job of leaving suggestions but i'm always down for some more so go ahead and leave some if you want to know anything it's a fair game for everyone and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you tomorrow peace